What's up guys, it's iAppleTech and today I'm going to talk to you about Jailbreak FAQ. Now Jailbreak FAQ is an assistant extension add-on that allows you to talk to Siri about the jailbreak history, jailbreaking itself, and any error message that you might be receiving. So to do this, go ahead and open up Siri. Let's chat. Just a moment, please, until I load my brain. So it's me loading all the add-ons and assistant extensions here. Okay, I am ready. Just stop chatting. Just say goodbye. Okay, so now it is ready, and you can ask it any type of question dealing with jailbreaking or Sokran or anything like that. So let's go ahead here and ask a few questions. What is jailbreaking? All bought iPhones and iPod touches and many other devices are delivered in a jail meaning that you cannot install any software on them that is not approved by the manufacturer Apple in this case jailbreaking means to modify your device so that it allows to run any software this means it is then your choice of what to install Apple makes it nearly impossible to do this by using digital certificates and crypto hardware built into the device but some clever people found ways to get around this this is jailbreaking or rooting the device so there you go, it talks to you about a little bit what jailbreaking is. Let's go here and ask another question. What is the history of Cydia? Jay Freeman first released Cydia in February 2008 as an open source alternative to installer app on iPhone OS 1.1. But Cydia quickly became the most popular package manager after iPhone OS 2.0's release in July 2008. In August 2009, Freeman said about 4 million, or 10% of the 40 million iPhone and iPod Touch owners to date, have installed Cydia. In September 2010, Freeman's company, Sorokit, LLC, announced that it had acquired Rock Your Phone, Inc., makers of Rock App, which made the Cydia store the largest third-party app store for jailbroke my OS devices. In December 2010, Freeman announced plans to also release a Cydia store for Mac OS X as a supplement not an alternative to Apple's Mac App Store. As of April 2011, Cydia had $10 million in annual revenue and 4.5 million weekly users, with $250,000 in profit after taxes annually. So there it tells you a little bit of the history of Cydia and a little bit of Jay Freeman and some big numbers in revenue. So let's go here and ask, uh, how can I jailbreak? How can I jailbreak? iPhone 4S and iPad 2 can be jailbroken using Absinthe and Corona. So those are the two programs uh, that can be used to jailbreak the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2, as long as with the iPhone 4 with Corona. Let's go here and ask it who made the iOS 5. Who made the iOS 5 jailbreak? Apple. Okay. And you can also ask it certain error message that you are receiving in iTunes, such as this one right here. Air 1013. Does that remind you of Ghost in the Shell? Air 1013. This means that the baseband did not get updated. Either remove the gsapple.com entry from your host's file and let the baseband upgrade, or if you want to preserve the baseband, just jailbreak at this point to boot it up. So this is Jailbreak FAQ, as it is a assistant extensions, and allows you to ask it many questions dealing with Cydia, uh, jailbreaking, and any error message that you do receive. So the Jailbreak FAQ add-on for assistant extensions is available in Cydia. And it is on the Big Boss repo as it is a free Cydia tweak that adds itself into assistant extensions that allows you to chat with it about jailbreaking, Cydia, and any error message. And here you can have a list of any, uh, what you can say and any error messages can be found in the description. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.